Welcome to Kinder Tail Garden. Hello, my little kindies. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to read Best Friends Forever. This book is written by Melanie Joyce and is illustrated by Sinia Pavlova. This story is about Little Bear who liked his new house but is missing his friends. So let's see what he does. When Little Bear moved to a new house, he missed his friends Badger, Bunny, and Mouse. To make Little Bear feel better, Mummy said, "Write them a letter." Little Bear wrote, "Mouse, I miss your squeak. Badger, I miss your giggles. Bunny, I miss the way your nose wiggles. I hope that you all miss me too. That's why I'm sending this letter to you." Swoosh! A rough wind blew. It snatched the letter, and away it flew. Give it back! Little Bear cried. But he couldn't catch the letter, however hard he tried. Mummy felt very sorry for Little Bear. She hugged him tight and said, "There, there." Whoosh! The letter blew all around, then landed by Badger on the ground. Badger opened the letter from Little Bear. And read all the lovely words written there. Bunny, called Badger, I've got something to show you. Bunny read the letter and wrote some words. Hello, little bear. It's Bunny. I miss you because you're cuddly and funny. Bunny and Badger ran to see Mouse. They tapped on the wooden door of his house. Mouse read the letter. And wrote some words for his friend. I hope that our friendship will never end. When he had finished, Mouse twiddled his tail. He said, "Let's send this letter through the mail." But Stoke and the mail bag were flying away. Oh no! Said Bunny, "We've missed the mail today." Come on. Said Mouse, "Let's deliver the letter to Little Bear's house." He got a compass and some tasty snacks and put them into little backpacks. Mouse and his friends were ready to go. Which way is Bear's house? Does anybody know? On the way, they saw a squirrel in a tree. "I know the way," he said. "Follow me." They went up a hill and down to the bottom. Where now? asked Mouse. But Squirrel had forgotten. They had to walk a long time that day, until they met Fox and asked him the way. Fox wasn't sure, so he called to Bird. Do you know where Little Bear's house is? Have you heard? Yes. Chirped Bird, come with me, and she flew off towards a big old tree. There was Little Bear who couldn't believe his eyes. Hello, said Bunny, Badger, and Mouse. Surprise! Little Bear read the letter and it made him smile. Thank you, he said. Please stay for a while. I want to play with all of you. Now I've got old friends and new ones too. When Little Bear's friends went home, he didn't feel sad or all alone. His friends wrote letters every day, so he didn't feel bad about moving away. Little Bear thought his friends were very clever. He had no doubt at all they would be best friends forever. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.